That's why we're not shaking hands. I'm not taking a chance with that Bradwell Institute crap that we have. And uh, we got to get a lot better. If we play like this next week, it, it'll be over. We got to get a lot better. We got to clean some things up. Uh, effort was really good second half. I'm proud of how we responded. But uh, we got to quit getting and jawing matches. I mean, it's just can't win a championship doing that. Cannot do it. Not going to happen. Coach, that being said, uh, health-wise, how do we look? Any, anybody uh, hurt? And just, again, we're on the turf. We've got ankles again. I mean, we'll evaluate it. Braden popped his knee a little bit. We'll evaluate it and see uh, what we got moving forward. They have to come in for treatment in the morning, and we'll go what we got. Well, I mean, the whole secondary for a second is out. So, just got to keep getting better and, and get them healed up. Coach, we'll hit you. Uh, you mentioned the fact that only about 14% of the football teams are left now. Yeah, and we're, and we're one of them. You know, when I took this job, I had a lot of people tell me if you were going to get coffee, this was the year, um, and that we were going to be down, and, and you know, we'd be lucky to be five and five, and it's just a testament to those kids not listening to that and, and, and getting rid of the outside noise and clutter. And I tell them all the time, you can't find they in a phone book. You know, don't listen to what they say. You work your tail off all year long. You're good enough. Uh, we're in the Elite Eight. I don't, I don't know who we're playing. It doesn't matter. I just know we're there. I get another week with our guys. Coach, congratulations. We'll see you next week. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you.